When you see these illustrations, you may be curious like me. Why are these illustrations so cool and have such a sense of form? What is the secret behind it? In this video, I will share what I have learned about composition. This video is mainly divided into three parts. Principles of Visual Composition How I analyze the paintings of Alphonse Mucha and Yuen using these principles The process I create series of illustrations based on what I learn from them During the learning process, especially for self-learners like us, we often encounter the problem Lack of direction To make progress we need to establish a feedback loop Identify the problem Correct it Improve I believe everyone who is into art starts by learning perspective and color after learning some perspective and color, my improvement basically stagnated. I don't know what I should draw. The only practice I can do is to look for some photos on Pinterest and then copy them. This is not creating. I don't have fun drawing. During this time, my drawings didn't seem to have any problems, but they looked boring. After learning about composition, my artwork significantly improved. What's more important is that I now have direction and drawing has become enjoyable again. If you have a similar problem, this video can help you. In simple terms, composition is the process of arranging different elements in a picture to make it look good. Here are the main steps. Designing abstract shapes. Incorporating concrete objects. One illustration consists of four elements. There are five main principles for arranging these elements. Scaffold Gestalt Theory. This is the premise for all the principles we will discuss next. This is something we all know, but it's not always easy to notice when drawing. This is a straight line. Even if it becomes a dotted line, our brain can still perceive it as a straight line. This is because our brain has the ability to fill in gaps. Flow. These bubbles can be seen as an S curve, also known as a flow. Flow represents a trend of movement. One of the reasons why a painting looks particularly comfortable is because of smooth lines organized graphics. The brain finds it easier to fill in gaps. Please see the example. There are four characters in the scene with two obvious trend lines. There is also a visual cycle, making the illustration more appealing. To have a better understanding, it requires some knowledge of shapes, which we will discuss soon. Tips. When you feel that a scene is a bit dull or needs more information, try adding a flow created using props. Rule of arranging. We know how to add props in flow, but it is impossible to arrange them in this way. So how can we make it look good? Comparisons. This is three boxes. It will be more interesting with size comparison. Change the position horizontally. Changes in quantity. Adding contrast in space. Tips. When drawing scattered objects, you can use the rule of arrangement and flow. Shapes. Generally, it can be divided into simplification of shapes. Shapes hierarchy. Shapes scheme. Simplification of shapes. This concept is also an extension of the Gestalt theory. The closer something is to a geometric shape, the easier it is to understand meaning that it is more formalized. Even in these realistic paintings, the outlines are still very simple. It is the information inside the outline that makes us feel realistic. Here's a tip. When drawing fabrics like skirts, as long as the outline is drawn nicely, you can add details inside to make it look more reasonable. Shapes hierarchy. We can understand it as primary shapes, secondary shapes, tertiary shapes. This is a relative concept, the definition is not important. Adding too many tertiary shapes in a secondary shapes will be considered as a secondary shapes. Our brain will ignore overwhelming information and generalize it into a whole. Less is more. Organizing the layout using the concept of shapes hierarchy can create complex yet orderly designs. However, mastering this skill takes a long time. Here's a little trick using tertiary shapes that can immediately make your illustration look better. Add black dots in areas where light is not shining, or make some lines thicker. This will make the illustration look more appealing. Scaffold. This is the most important knowledge in composition. It is the structure of the illustration. Can you see the common point of these illustration? It's the letter D. This is the illustration's scaffold. D is probably the most common shape, with one side being straight and the other side being curved, creating tension. There are also various other types of shapes. You can refer to this book. Besides scaffolding, there are tips to make the character's internal tendencies more vivid. The greater the angle of the head, shoulders, hips, and deviation, the more tension the character's posture will have. These are a few of my practices. What if I want to add a background? 
How can I fit more elements into the illustration? There are many ways to do this, and the most common is to extend the inherent tendencies of the characters. So, how to use these principles to create an illustration? There are seven steps to generate ideas and organize the elements. I created a template for it. Check it out. I put the link in the description. Step 1. Decide main theme and sub-themes. Step 2. Decide common elements. Make them look like a series of illustration. Step 3. Visual keywords. My first attempt will be Winter Elf. Step 4. Step 5. Look for image references for these visual keywords. Step 6. Extract the scaffold as a reference from Alphonse Mucha's work. This is the completed illustration. There are several problems with this attempt. The shape's hierarchy is not clear enough, and I used too many tertiary shapes to fill the illustration, which looks messy. Mucha used lines to guide the viewer's gaze to the face of the character, which I did not achieve in my painting. My color sucks. My second attempt, Autumn Elf. Analyzing the scaffolding of this illustration by Yuan as a reference for imitation. I have attempted several different methods to understand the scaffold of this illustration. It's quite interesting, although it doesn't seem like a series with the previous one. The composition is mainly square-shaped. Sketch. This time, I have a much better understanding of shapes. I also consider negative space and be able to use basic geometric shapes to lay out the composition. Color is better, right? I realize that lighting and shadows are my weak points. I will learn more about this topic and practice more. The next challenge is playful and lively summer elf who enjoys playing with fireworks at night. I will share my process of learning light and shadow in the next video, as well as the challenges of summer elf and spring elf. Without getting better on technique is a hook, and of course, in the process of learning composition, you also need to improve your weaknesses. I will share the problems I encountered while learning to draw and how I solved them. I hope to help friends who, like me, are self-taught in drawing. If this content is helpful to you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.